Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, our God reigns, our God reigns, our God reigns. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord, our Father. There is no shadow of turning in thee. Thou changest not thy compassion, they fail not. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto us. Hallelujah to our King. Hallelujah to our King. Lord, you are great and you are almighty. All honor, all praise, all glory to you, O King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah to our King. Lord, you are great and you are almighty. Hallelujah, all honor, all praise, all glory, all glory to you, O King. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy, righteous, and powerful name. Great are you, Lord. You are great and greatly to be praised. Abba, Father, you reign. You reign supreme. You reign, O sovereign God, you reign. Hallelujah. Reign, King Jesus, reign. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to our King. Lord, you are good and your mercies endure it forever. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning, good morning, Holy Spirit of God, and welcome into our presence. Welcome into our day. Take full control, O Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all of you and none of us. May your will and your will only be done in us and through us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, family. Good morning to those of you on Instagram, on Facebook. Morning, Carol. Bless you. Hallelujah. Good morning uh, to those who are gathered on TikTok, family of God. Bless the Lord. Good morning to Pastors Noel and Juliet Campbell on Arrows Internet Radio. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. All the pastors and prophets and apostles and evangelists and teachers uh, I greet you in the mighty and matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Welcome to our day, our morning, our time, our afternoon, our evening, whatever time zone you're in, of praying into the new month. April is the month where we celebrate, hallelujah, the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. Some call it Easter, ah, hallelujah. Some call it Passover. Uh, some call it all kinds of different things. We just call it celebration, life's celebration. We celebrate life and life more abundantly that Christ Jesus died to give us. Amen. He rose from the dead that we might have life and life more abundantly. I first must apologize for the very, very late start. Uh, guys, you have no idea the kind of warfare that uh that we have to fight in the mornings just to get started it's not as easy as it seemed this morning none of the, the the phones that are connected to the internet uh was connected it wasn't the internet just stopped working broke down and and um and all the phones uh no except one was connected to that particular service Praise God, we were wise a few years ago and decided to invest in another service from another company. Um, and so all the phones had to be recalibrated um, to that, uh, that system, the system that was working. <laughs> uh, the phones were on the one that is not working. And so just trying to find it, sometimes the, 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 the network um, address refused to come up it was just one thing after another but guess what we're on now which means the weapons formed but they did not prosper oh come on hallelujah hallelujah they come at us one way but had to flee seven ways the enemy tried but he's under our feet come on hallelujah we went through the valley of the shadow of death but here we are fearing no evil because the rod and staff took us through we sat and ate at the table that the lord prepared before us in the presence of our enemies and so this morning i just want to encourage somebody it may look ominous it may look difficult it may look like there is no end in sight it may look hopeless place it may look like whoa but god has already made arrangements god has made a, god has a backup plan god has a door that will open for you when you get to the place where you cannot manage 
anymore when you feel like i am at my wit's end god has made a way where there seemed to be no way hallelujah god has a plan b a plan c a plan d and so don't don't never feel discouraged never feel like you need to give up never feel like god has forgotten you never feel like you want to run away just run to god and know that he has many backup plans Ah, hallelujah for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through our god to the pulling down of every stronghold and so the stronghold may be pulled down in one instance where you say in the name of jesus christ rise up and walk and then in another instance the stronghold may be pulled down by someone calling and praying for you in another instance the stronghold hallelujah might be yes come on sister quenda you get it hallelujah 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 you have pre um, predicted or prophesied hallelujah well not prophesied but you have confirmed the word for this month come on hallelujah hallelujah and so as we we get into this time we want us to to, to recognize as a family that the the enemy will come the weapons will form the enemies will will will, will try to overtake us but the water will not cover us the fire hallelujah will blaze around us but it will not burn us uh, the lions will roar hallelujah uh, but they will not eat us come on glory to god because the enemy only wants us to fear he wants us to be in despair he wants us to not say to him get out of here amen and so fear not fear not when you see your children seeming like they're going in the wrong direction you are a, you're a child of god and your children are the seed of the righteous fear not when it looks like you're getting pushed out of your job because there are things that people are saying and doing and it looks like you have come to the end of the road you don't want to go to work in the days because you feel so frustrated why is everyone picking on me why is everyone fighting against me what are they trying to do lord is it time for me to leave here no it's time for you to be resolute to be firm hallelujah to be bold to become the head and not the tail now that may end up in you leaving but at first god is not interested in you running he's interested in you taking dominion come on glory to god and so god wants us to take dominion because he has a plan god always has a plan for us and his plans for us are what good and not evil to give us a hope and a future and so in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth we declare and decree that god's plans for us are good god's plans for us are the best god's plans for us is for us to pass the test hallelujah god's plans for us is to take out take us out of the mess to lift us out of Lodibar like David sent from a fellowship and bring us to the king's table. God's plans for us are, vict are for us to walk in victory. God's plans for us are, 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 are resurrection. It is for resurrection. Come on. Glory to God. And so, hallelujah, we will not die but live. God's plans for us is that we shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. God's plans for us is that we walk in the in the fruit of the spirit the gifts of the spirit the power of the holy spirit the spirit of wisdom and understanding the spirit of counsel and might the spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the lord god's plans for us is that we stand as as, as the blessed and highly favored of him in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth god's plans for us is for us to be more than conquerors victorious to do all things through him who gives us strength hallelujah 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 and so today i declare that this is the day of our resurrection this is the time and the season of our resurrection as the lord jesus christ resurrected from the dead and brought glory so i say to you glorious resurrection is our portion for the lord said hallelujah he rose from the dead and was as and ascended into heaven and was given a name hallelujah come on so when you resurrect you raise up come on so jesus resurrected and was raised up to heaven and was given a name that is above every name that at the sound of the name of yeshua the amashiach of nazareth 
Every knee must bow and every tongue confess. Every knee in the heavens, every knee in the earth, every knee under the sea must bow and confess that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is Lord. And this same Jesus Christ that every knee, every demon and devil, every human, every president and prime minister, every premier, every senator, every governor, every mayor, every businessman, I don't care who they are, they could be the wealthiest in the world or just plain old wealthy, every knee must bow to the Lordship of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And if that same Jesus, uh, before which every knee must bow and every tongue confess, lives in us by his spirit, then therefore we have more power than even the wealthiest in the world. I want to encourage somebody this morning in this month of resurrection that we are resurrected from the from the days of poverty lack and insufficiency and we are resurrected into Christ Jesus I hope somebody is hearing me this morning I hope this is not too deep so early uh, I want somebody to know that Jesus through his death burial and resurrection has resurrected us and so our whole life oh Lord Jesus our whole way of living our whole way of operating even if it was good in the sight of men God says to tell you this morning I've resurrected you into greatness I have resurrected you into power I have resurrected you into anointing I have resurrected you into victory I have resurrected you into my name I have resurrected you and took your blame. And so no longer should we walk in shame. No longer should be we saying, Lord, I'm so sorry because I committed an abortion 10 years ago. Uh, I had, I, I, I had, uh, uh, Unmarried, unmarried sex years ago. Father, I lost it. I, I, I told a lie. I, 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 I thought things that I should not have thought. I gossiped. I, I brought disrepute to the body of Christ a few years ago. God says, no longer are you living in that grave. You have been resurrected. That tomb has been opened. That stone has been rolled away. And God says, unleash unwrap and so this morning i want to unwrap you from everything of your past i want to unwrap you from that failed relationship oh you had a failed marriage and you keep being tormented by satan oh you didn't hear god you thought it was god when you were saying i do but then after you said i do and everything started to go down the drain the man flew the woman flew after you said i do but this morning god says i am resurrected resurrecting you come on somebody hallelujah 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 and so today as we pray in the month of of, of april god says to tell you this is my resurrection season i am resurrecting you i am resurrecting every dead thing in you everything that satan put to rest every dead idea i resurrect them in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth everything that has dead for you in the future i resurrect them in the in the name of jesus christ ah your your will to press in your will to believe that you can still be healed your will to believe that you can still bear a child your will to believe that you can still hallelujah get married your will to believe that god will still provide for you according to his riches in glory i declare that that dead will is resurrected this morning for you are a child of the king you have been in 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 lodibar for a while but god says to tell you this morning the angel has come gabriel has come like he came to mary and said said Mary the mighty woman of God ah, I have come to bring tidings of great joy I've come to bring a message of hope I've come to tell you that you will come under great difficulty but you will be able to cope oh come on somebody I'm saying to you this morning that God has sent Gabriel and Gabriel has come to whisper in your ears and to tell you hallelujah that you are a new creation all things are powerful passed away and behold all things have become new for Jesus was put into the tomb battered and shattered tattered and bruised bore up cut up whip up mash up as we say in the in Jamaica 
But when he rose again, when he rose from the dead, when he rose in the month, when he rose in the day, when he rose on that fateful moment, he rose without a scar. He rose because he was the star. Mm -mm, I want somebody to hear me. Nobody will be able to see the things that was once dead in thee. This is the time and the season when we will rise up and wise up uh, because we are God's prize. Uh, it is resurrection day. It's resurrection month. Uh, the enemy has been standing on our backs. Uh, he has stolen from us and have gone with a head start. Uh, but today I declare uh, that Gabriel has come and he says, uh, all you have to do is pursue by faith, uh, overtake by speed, uh, and recover all by confidence uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, can you still pursue by faith? Can you still pursue though it looks like it's not going to happen? Come on, Debbie 10. Can you still pursue when it looks like God has given up on you? When it looks like it's not going to come through? Can you still pursue believing that the God who has kept you, even though on a small amount, will keep you in, in perfect peace? Ah, hallelujah. And so this month of April, we are resurrecting. God says to tell you, this is the month when I will resurrect you. I will resurrect you. I will correct that which concerns you. I will resurrect you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Some persons have not been fully dead, but have been half dead, have been quarter dead. But God says it doesn't matter whether you were dead in your head, dead in your bed, dead like lead. It's resurrection time. I am resurrecting everything that concerns you. I am resurrecting your promotion that the enemy stole. I am resurrecting your finances that the enemy pulled out or set ablaze. I am resurrecting your generational blessings, even though the, the enemy caused generational curse to be your portion. I am resurrecting your mindset because your mind was based in unforgiveness, in rejection, in fear, in pride, in lust, in greed, in misgivings and misguidings, in idolatry, ah, in, 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 in inabilities. But God says, I'm resurrecting you as a child of God. I'm resurrecting you as a man, as a woman, as a son of faith. I am resurrecting some Deborahs. I am resurrecting some, some, some Isaiahs. I am resurrecting some, some Joshuas. Come on, glory to God. I am resurrecting some Elijahs and some Elishas. I am resurrecting, hallelujah, some Samaritan woman who will be a blessing to my sons and daughters, who will build rooms and furnish them for, the, for, for, for my sons and daughters who have been sent on a journey. I am resurrecting some, hey, some destiny helpers. I am resurrecting, hallelujah, some wise men and women who will come from the north, south, east, and west and be a blessing. God says, I'm resurrecting the desires that you have in your heart for the glory of God to be manifested in and through you. And so, come on, you got to declare, thank you, Lord, for resurrection. Thank you that I am resurrected in this month of April. Thank you, Lord, that in April, everything that the enemy killed for me, for my family, for my community, for my nation, shall be resurrected in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is already resurrection day. We have been resurrected and a glorious body, a glorious mindset, a glorious attitude, a glorious position, a glorious victory shall we walk walk in because when Christ was resurrected, he had a glorious body. He could walk through walls. He could do things from near and far. Ah, oh, you got to understand he could access heaven and earth at the same time. And so I want to tell you that with this resurrection anointing, God says we can access
access heaven from earth and earth from heaven in the same time at the same place for we now live in the resurrected glory hallelujah to the king of kings and lord of lords it is resurrection day resurrection way and we shall live as resurrected mighty men and women of god in this season in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth as the lord jesus christ his name his power his anointing his grace his joy his peace hallelujah has been buried with us the lord says this day as i resurrect you i i resurrect you with my joy i resurrect you with my peace i resurrect you with my anointing i resurrect you with my fire i resurrect you with my confidence i resurrect you with boldness come on hallelujah in the name of jesus christ and so this morning come on people of god god is saying come on deborahs come on deborahs come on joshua's come on elisha's come on hallelujah you shall be resurrected and you will not be resurrected as the soldier who fell on the bones of elisha but you shall be resurrected like elisha when he caught the mantle because he was dead to the greatness of god but when he caught the mantle he was resurrected oh nobody not hearing me this morning you got to hear me people of god the lord says there has been a struggle there has been difficulties there has been a hey, setbacks there have been delayed and derailment and even denial but this day this day at the beginning of this month of april at the beginning of the celebration of the death burial and resurrection that i had to go through that you might have life god says to tell you that your troubles are behind you there are some stiff struggles and new things that you will have to face but that which you carried into today is now behind you it is now your past i am resurrecting you as a victorious soldier i am resurrecting you as a victorious mouthpiece i am resurrecting you as a victorious confident mighty man and woman of god in the mighty name of jesus christ Christ. I am resurrecting you with the anointing of Joshua and Caleb. Every situation that you face going forward in the in the will in the uh, in Canaan, you will see as easy, easy for victory easy when you come across sickness, when you come across pressure, when you come across difficulties. When you come across storms, you will know that it is easy because you have been resurrected. If you come back from the dead, no negativity can be in your head. Come on, somebody. Glory to God most high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, Father, we thank you for this month of resurrection. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that things that have been held up for us, God, marriage that we, would, that we should have experienced a long time ago, we thank you, Lord that though the enemy killed it this is the season of resurrection we thank you lord that everything that concerns us rose with you from the dead on the third day two thousand years ago and so god we declare that everything that concerns us is resurrecting in this month of april resurrection april resurrection day resurrection time resurrection season resurrection month resurrection year in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth father we thank you for resurrection we thank you for inspection we thank you Lord God Almighty that this is our time and we embrace it we grab it we celebrate it our attitude of gratitude for resurrection is in place in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth glory be to the Holy One of Israel we thank you Lord for this resurrection time we thank you Lord that we will live hallelujah and though the enemy will still form weapons against us we will not fear for when you resurrected lazarus from the dead when you called lazarus to come forth when you unwrapped him of his grave cloth when he was presented to his family and to his friends again ah the plots and schemes of the pharisees were still in trend they were saying now we don't have to we now we own we we don't only have to kill jesus but we have to kill lazarus too because he's a representative of the glory of God in and through Jesus Christ of Nazareth and so the enemy may want to destroy you because you have been resurrected 
people will want to fight against you because you have been resurrected into blessings, resurrected into glory, resurrected as a husband, resurrected as a wife, resurrected, hallelujah, into the fullness of God's goodness. And so bad mind and envy will want to destroy you. But I'm saying to you this day, you're not only resurrected as one who walks in victory, in blessings and favor, but you're resurrected as a mighty warrior. Oh, you didn't hear that. I want to say that again slowly. God says I don't only resurrect you to walk in the blessings that make rich and add no sorrow. I didn't just resurrect you for you to feel the blessings. Hallelujah. That you will not have room enough to receive. I didn't just resurrect you for destiny help us to find you. But I also resurrected you as a mighty warrior. I resurrected you with your whole armor. I resurrected you with your shield of faith. I resurrected you with the sword of the spirit. I resurrected resurrected you with a dominion agenda, a dominion anointing. I resurrected you to take atmospheres and shift for my glory. Ah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah hallelujah and so I prophesy to you this morning I prophesy to you today as you are hearing me right now God says to tell you like Gabriel told Mary like God told Abraham or like God spoke to Ezekiel and to Jeremiah and to Samuel this day you are hearing the voice of God God says to tell you that this month of April what you speak into the atmosphere shall be established for you have been resurrected with power you have been resurrected to correct you have been a hey, glory to god hallelujah you have been resurrected to take dominion to stand on the wall to back up the enemies to pursue overtake and recover all you've been resurrected to be a an example of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. You have been resurrected, hallelujah, to demonstrate the Shekinah glory of God. You have been resurrected with power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so fear not, for I am with you, says the Lord. Fear not, for you are victorious, says the Lord. Fear not, for you are strong and mighty through me to the pulling down of strongholds, says the Lord. Fear not, for you are my battle axe. Fear not, for I have armored you, says the Lord. Fear not, for it is I that have resurrected you, says the Lord. Ah, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fear not, for I have resurrected your mind, hallelujah, and given you the mind of Christ. Fear not, for I have resurrected your heart and have made you a lover of, of the souls of men. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Fear not, for you will no longer fail, but you will prevail. I release you from every jail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I resurrect you as my king and my priest in the earth in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of shyness that used to kill you, every spirit of fear that had you buried, every spirit of I can't, every spirit of backbench, every spirit of working from the backside, every spirit of Lodibar, every spirit, hallelujah, that drew you afar, I cut you loose from them today, says the Lord, and I resurrect you with power, I resurrect you to lead, I resurrect you to succeed, I resurrect you from greed, I resurrect you today, says the spirit of the living God, walk in the fullness of that resurrection, Walk in my resurrection, for I am coming with an inspection for those who will embrace my resurrection. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the King of Kings. Jesus Christ of Nazareth was great. Hear me carefully. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, listen attentively. Jesus Christ of Nazareth was great, was great in the flesh was great right up until he said it is finished jesus was great hear me carefully but when that third day came when that sunday morning came and he rose from the dead he was resurrected when the angels went and got him and hey, and fixed him up and dressed him good and sent him hey, 
and brought him out, rolled away the stone and brought him out. When the angels released him and he resurrected, hallelujah, he was no longer just great. He was the greatest. So he was great as man, but he was the greatest in resurrection. Oh, you didn't hear that. He was great as man. He did supernatural, super califragilistic, espialidocious things as man. But when he died, hallelujah, the Bible says if the princes of this world had known, they would not have crucified Christ. When he died, they thought, hallelujah, they shut him up. They thought they got rid of his greatness. They thought, oh, somebody, you're not hearing me. Junior Cool, when they spoke against you, when they set you in prison, when they said, ah, let's lock him in this space, they thought they won. But this day I say to you, a resurrection anointing is flowing. When they thought they put you in a little back office to shut you up, when they thought they just gave you a little welfare check that's supposed to keep you with a little bit of food in your belly so you can feel okay. Okay. But I'm here to tell you this day that in resurrection power you are greater than great. Hallelujah. In resurrection power, you call forth wealth. You call forth that which is not as though it were. You speak to situations and circumstances and shift atmospheres. In resurrection power, there is no defeat for you. Everything is sweet for you. Everything is a treat for you. Oh, you're not hearing me. In resurrection power, you speak to your day. You speak in the God's way. In resurrection power, your business flourish. It expands and exceeds expectations you don't understand me in resurrection power favor comes to you without even trying in resurrection power you will go somewhere and people will make extra effort to facilitate you because you're walking in resurrection power in the same way wherever Jesus went yes there were always some people who wanted to block delay derail or deny him but wherever he went he still found favor oh hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so God says to tell you this morning, if you are hearing me today, wherever you are, in whatever time zone and whatever country you are in, the Lord says to tell you that this month of April is the month where he will resurrect what the enemy has killed. He will resurrect even what you have killed. For some of us have some ideas. Hallelujah have some things in our mind, some plans that we made, but it was so long ago. Uh, some of us have some issues that we've been carrying for 30 years, and we say, God, after 30 years, there's no way this can come back alive. By now it stinketh, it rotteneth, it has gone to a whole nother level, it is just dry bones. But God says to tell you, read the book of Ezekiel, am I not the God of dry bones? Am I not the God who said, can these dry bones live and so you may need to be resurrected or some things in your life may need to be resurrected but it's been dead for so long it's not even stinking anymore it is completely rotten and gone the flesh on the thing that project the flesh on that book has disappeared it no longer stink it because it's been dead for too long God says to tell you this morning don't worry about that and the God that can repair. I can cause that which is dry, hallelujah, to live again. I cause a rod that was dead and cut to bud. I brought back life to stick. I brought back life to dry bones. I can bring back life to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All you need to do is trust me, says the Lord. Trust my ability. Trust my power. Trust my love. Trust my grace. Trust my mercy. I will deliver you. I will restore you. I will resurrect you and that which concerns you, says the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. 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 And so as we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, 
we also celebrate our own resurrection. There is none who is hearing me this day who are linked into the Lord Jesus Christ, who have committed and surrendered to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. There is none who is hearing me who will not be resurrected. None shall stay in the grave. None shall stay a slave. None shall have children that don't behave. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is our time of resurrection. Resurrection into glory. Resurrection with a new story. Resurrection with power. Love. And a sound mind. It's resurrection time. Resurrection time. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you that this month of April is blessed already. It's sanctified already. And we walk into it knowing that we have power. Everywhere that you went, Lord Jesus, as the resurrected King, as the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. We, you walked in power. You walked in ability. You walked in a demonstrated glory. Hallelujah. And so, Lord, we thank you that every member of this Fourth Watch family shall go into the month of April with the same resurrection power, with the same resurrection anointing, with the same resurrection gifting. And we shall shift and change and do and build and declare and decree and call forth and set free. Hallelujah hallelujah for your glory in the mighty name of jesus christ we shall do things that many will not even understand because we walk in the resurrection power of your holy spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth glorify yourself O lord god almighty for this is the season of resurrection we walk in the fullness of life and life more abundantly in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah guys i want you to do me a favor i want you to do me a prophetic favor in this new month that we are welcoming in the month has been blessed god says i have blessed the month of resurrection for you i have blessed i have risen up my blood i have raised up my blood hallelujah to spread on the surface my blood was in the earth but god says i raised up my blood to be on the surface remember when up uh, is solomon hallelujah sacrificed thousands of animals and the bible says the blood ah in the space where the sacrifices took place so many animals were killed that the blood was high i think it was up to about mid shin that's how deep the blood was when 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 um, solomon was making his sacrifice to the lord to let him know how serious he was about hallelujah his love for God and what he wanted to accomplish. Well, God says, I have raised my blood from under the earth. Hallelujah. Because under the earth, hallelujah, only some could see it. But on top of the earth, all will know that my resurrection blood, my glorious blood that was shed that all could have life and life more abundantly is now up on top of the earth where all can see and know that I am God, that I gave my blood, not that I would die, but that you would live. My blood is for you, says the Lord. Walk in it, walk on it, walk with it, live through it. My blood is with you, my blood is in you, my blood is for you. Be resurrected into my blood, into my body, and nothing shall be impossible for you, says the Spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. 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 Our God reigns. Hallelujah. Our God reigns. Hallelujah, our God reigns forever all our days. Hallelujah. You can't reign unless you have been resurrected. Hallelujah. You cannot reign on the throne unless you have been resurrected. Come on. 
every dead person that tries to reign is illegal you can only reign after you have been resurrected and so lord we thank you that you have resurrected us in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you thank you lord thank you thank you thank you hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah um you know you know we talk about i wonder if i should touch this lord help me holy spirit help me holy spirit help me holy spirit should i holy spirit mm i so tori beanda something has been concerning me over the last few months it's been a little while with a few but now it has become prolific uh, more and more persons are beginning to demonstrate this 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 trait uh this spirit i don't know what it is i am not at liberty to say that I am fully au fait with what is at play and I'm not trying to be funny there's this thing and as people in the body of Christ we have to we have to be free to discuss what we don't understand not from the place of condemnation or judgment or any decision because that's all up to God and God could be doing it and we don't know but if God is not doing it, we need to know as well. Because if something affects the body of Christ and we don't seek answers, if we don't ask God what's going on with this, is this you? Is this of you? Then we could find ourselves in serious issues. We could find ourselves in problems. For lack of knowledge, my people perish. If we don't ask God the questions, God will not answer what we have not asked and so there's been a situation that it seems insignificant to the average person and maybe it is let me set the record straight maybe it is maybe it is not an issue not a problem at all and Rowan is just being nitpicking Rowan is just being religious Rowan is just being fearful or whatever I'm willing to take that hey my back not broad, but it broad enough to take if if I am majoring in the minor. But I must raise it as an uh, as not as an issue, um, but as a concern that I want us as a family to be aware of. The Bible talks about in the last days there shall be a, a, a in my words a plethora, a prolific release of false prophets. And that release of false prophets, in my view, is not necessarily where uh, prophets are just coming up that you don't know. It's not only uh, new prophets just appearing, just popping up like a deck of cards out of nowhere. I believe that some of the people who we thought, who we knew, who we accepted as prophets two years, three years, four years, five years ago, are going to start demonstrating some traits some things that will if we're not careful our trust and confidence in who they were three and four and five years ago will cause us not to see the shift will cause us not to see and recognize and accept that there is a shift in the atmosphere around them in what they are doing and they will be able to captivate us and draw us into a place where we don't need to be. And so I'm saying to you, people of God, be very mindful and careful. Be very mindful and careful of these times and these seasons because the enemy is coming with a desire to sift us as wheat. He desires to sift us as wheat the bible says but there were also false prophets among the people false prophets among the people in second peter peter chapter 2 
just as there will be false teachers among you. These are the days when even those who you thought were good teachers and prophets before, if we don't pay attention, listen to me carefully, let me let me not seem to be offending or picking on anyone else. Let me pick on myself. Every morning that you come to devotion, every morning that you come to devotion, people of God, I give you permission to search every word. Don't look for mistakes. Mistake is not what I'm talking about. Everyone makes mistake. You may make a mistake with English that will cause um, English Professor Raquel Samuels to cringe or English Professor Dennis West to cringe. That's fine. I don't care about that. I'm not perfect. I was voted least likely to succeed. I came up from an almost illiterate background to being able to speak to people that are 10 times more intelligent than I am now. And so that, that doesn't faze me. That does not faze me. Okay? Hi. I try to do my best and hopefully I communicate effectively enough that if you were to nitpick and say you put a is where R should have been last week and if that's where you are then psh, hey, tough. Amen? That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about mistakes, guys. I'm talking about doctrinal shift. Things that are demonstrating that, that, that are against the, the, the principles and processes, things that are demonstrating a spirit coming up that represents something that could be dangerous later. So things that are dangerous now and things that, are, that can be dangerous later. Now, I, I say that to say this to you. Um, it is, as I said, let me say it again, it is simplistic, it seems insignificant, but my spirit is jumping with a little red flag. It's not a big red flag yet, a little red flag that is waving and saying, what is this? Where is this going? Where is it coming from? So let me tell you one red flag. I have two red flags that I'm cautiously, cautiously watching and waiting and if you guys know my heart, please remember this. I am not trying to knock anyone. I just want my people that God has allowed me to speak into your lives to be very mindful and check like the Bereans to see. Sometimes you can check the word and sometimes you just have to check your spirit. Sometimes like the Bereans, you can go and check the word and find that what is being taught has no relevance or connection or principle according to the word that is easy when there is a principle according to word but something is not um is not gelling with your spirit then you have to go talk to the holy spirit and say holy spirit what's happening here i'm getting a red flag it's not significant enough where i can make it public but i'm not comfortable with what's going on so the first little red flag that i have May, some of you may say, Pastor, what's that, man? That's not significant. It is where a lot more people, not masses, but a lot more strategic people are now praying and saying they used to pray in the name of Jesus Christ, but they are now closing their prayers by saying in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Red flag red flag is it a red flag that means that they are not saved it is a red is it a red flag that means that they are um are, are heretic or they have backslide or any of those things no please don't say i say so because i'm not saying so but i'm saying to you where is the resurrected power that we have been given in what have we been given resurrected power in who have we been given resurrected power? If you can answer those questions, if you can answer those questions, in what, in who have we been given resurrected power? In what? The name of Jesus Christ. In who? Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Not in Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as a name or as a title declared. If you go, hallelujah, that's right, Sister Darrett. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
There is a reason why he has a name. There is a reason why demons tremble at his name. There is a reason why he, raised, he rose from the dead and was ascended into heaven and was given a name. The Bible is very, very clear. Very, very clear. It is irrefutable, indisputable. He was given a name and that name is authentic. That name is legitimate. Listen to me. If Pastor Marsha goes to somewhere, to a bank, to a function, to a whatever, and someone says, whose name did you come in? And she says, I come in the name of Darian Benjamin's father. I come in the name of Delma Wade's son. I come in the name of Ernel Wade's son. The people are going to sit there with their hands on their jaw saying, okay, I hear you. You talk a lot of talk. Now, whose name do you come in? It's still me. I am Delma Wade's son. I am Darian's father. I am Ernel Wade's son. But they will never know. Ah, cool. Shanda. Calm down, Rowan. Guys, please don't miss this. It's a red flag. It seems insignificant because most of us has come to understand that we're not um, necessarily putting aside Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. But that is a representation of the ability of God to be our Father, to come to the earth as Son and die and die for us and for the Holy Spirit to be manifesting in us. I am not against the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, but I'm saying to you that there comes a time and a place and a season, a position and an opportunity where only the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth will open doors for us. Only the name of he who resurrected from the grave for us, ascended into heaven for us, shed his blood for us, gave his life that we might have life and more abundantly for us. And that is not a representation of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost in the same way. It is a representation of the name of our husband man, which is Jesus Christ. And so I'm not saying to your people of God, hear me clearly, because I don't want to be misrepresented. I don't care if I am, but I'm careful and mindful that I try to communicate properly that if I am misrepresented, it is a deliberate rather than a, mis a misunderstanding. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus Christ, hear me carefully, people. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth is powerful, it's mighty, it is a calling card, it is, the, it is the, 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 the opportunity, the open door, it is everything. When you come to represent at the function, whose name do you come in? You must come in a name. And so listen carefully to those who all of a sudden in this dispensation begin to pray, begin to declare everything in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. They stay right, but not perfect. Because heaven responds to earth through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me say that again. Heaven responds to earth through Jesus One last time, heaven responds to earth through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen? That's one. Hallelujah. That's right, Sister Angela. His name opened doors. His name opened doors. So he came to let us know that the Father, through the Son, by the Holy Spirit, has given us the opportunity to resurrect from our dead works, our sins. And so when he went through the process that we have to go through when we get saved, he was established as the boss in the same way that now, for example, me, for example, me, I once used to be insignificant. I once used to not be known by a lot of you that are here hearing my voice this morning. Never thought about me. I was insignificant. But when I died in baptism, when I rose again by the Holy Spirit, when I received the power and the glory of the one whose name 
gave me that option, that opportunity. <coughs> I then became significant. Oh, come on, you're not getting this. By the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Rowan East and Wayne became significant. Not as a runner, not as a business person, not as one who worked as an executive in sales and marketing. I became significant because of his name. His name. His name took the blame and established an authority in me where people would now listen attentively to one who was designed to fail. He rose me, he raised me from the dead and established me with a new head. Come on. And so only in his name, guys. So be careful and watch keenly. Watch keenly. Don't say anything. Don't curse anybody. Don't jump on anybody's back and start to judge them and condemn them. But watch carefully and break out your little red flag when predominantly you start to hear a replacement of the name of Jesus Christ with Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Another dangerous replacement of the name is when people say, in your name I pray. In whose name? In what name? When your name I pray hits heaven's gate and the angel peep through the little peephole, whether it's the little round one like in, in, in America through the doors, are the ones that you slide a like a bolt thing and it's 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 a long thing and you and the angel peep out and see you and he says i want to enter in your name i pray no seriously it sounds like a joke guys but these are real times as we get to the end times i'm saying to you that satan is strategically manipulating the process to ensure that some of us don't get what we're supposed to get because the debit card that we're using is a wrong card i have to tell you the truth even if you get offended some of you my dear family members have heard and have started to, 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 you've done it a few times, talk about um, Father this and that, and you pray and pray and pray, powerful prayer. And then you put in the debit card that gets the access to the bank account, and you said, in your name I pray. I'm telling you that that does not allow you to access funds from heaven. That in your name I pray is not recognized as an access card to heaven. Nobody knows it. Nobody knows who that is. It is not recognized. So if you have ever done it, if you have ever said it, you need to change it and start declaring the name that gives you access. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There is a cancel culture that is at play all over the world wanting to cancel jesus that's why they hate the name that's why they hate those who proclaim the name that's why they are trying to arrest you you can proclaim any other name in any country in the world and you are right but if you say the name of jesus can't you realize that there must be something wrong why when you say the name of jesus everything everybody just get cross angry miserable want to fight police want to lock you up your boss want to fire you? If you say the name of Jesus in some schools, in some North American schools, that's your last day at work? What is the problem with the name of Jesus? What is the issue? It's just another name, isn't it? Or is it? <laughs> oh, Rowan, you're too... Mm. Come on, Rowan, you're just fishing. That's that's insignificant. You can say anything. You don't have to call the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is nothing. He's just another man. Is he? Is he? Is he? Let's not be ignorant of the devil's devices, people of God. The other issue, that's number one. That's the main one for me. Be very careful and mindful and strategically and penetrantly, prayerfully, Watch to see how the name of Jesus is being eliminated or desires to eliminate 
Do not be a party to it. Declare the name of Jesus Christ because that's where the strong tower is. Declare the name of Jesus Christ because that's who is your husband man. Declare the name of Jesus Christ because that's your weapon. That is your weapon. His name. Amen. Hallelujah. So never get, let it not be said that you didn't know that there is a move strategically, manipulatively, stealth-like to eliminate the name of Jesus Christ even from church. Tell them I said so. Amen? Not from a place of pride. So that we might know that the move is not just in the world, it's also in church. The next thing that I've seen now starting to take a, 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 a role, it's building up momentum, it's building up speed. And it is where some teachers and some prophets that are about the place taking on the spirit of Africa, taking on a spirit from Africa, now, you and I know, without a shadow of a doubt, that who God calls you to be is a representation of you. Elisha asked for a double portion of the spirit of Elijah. Do you think that God gave him Elijah's spirit or God gave him a manifestation of his God's spirit that used to operate through Elijah. He didn't give him Elijah's spirit because Elijah's spirit belonged to Elijah. If he got Elijah's spirit, he would have gotten a demon. He couldn't get Elijah's spirit because Elijah's spirit went with Elijah in the chariot to heaven. He got a representation of what was upon Elijah, which is the Holy Ghost. So when someone says, I'm imparting my spirit to you, it's not literally their spirit. If that happens, then it's a demon that you have received, a demonic transfer. The glory of the Lord that operates upon them can operate upon you as well. But it is not their spirit. And so I've been noticing, and I pray that none of my, 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 my friends, because I know some people personally that have been doing this, and that's why I'm saying I'm not judging, I'm not condemning, but I'm asking the question from a little red flag. Why are some of our regular prophets who used to speak regularly, whether in American accent or Jamaican accent or English accent, according to where they were born, why all of a sudden their language, their tone, their way of speaking is not good enough? They have to speak with an African accent. Why are you trying to give people the impression that you are an African when you are not? That's deception. And deception is a demonic spirit. And a demonic spirit needs to be cast out, not facilitated, just because it speaks with a word that makes you feel good. I know I might be making some enemies and some people now that saying, Hey, you're crossing the line. No, I'm not. I'm just pointing out to the people that trust the God in me. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Don't just open yourselves completely to one who is pretending to be someone else. Do not just open yourself and your spirit completely to one who even for a moment, for a second, for a millisecond, is pretending to be someone else and it's not Jesus that they're pretending to be. Are you hearing me, people of God? And so if someone is prophesying to me and I know them and I know they're Jamaican, I know they're American, I know they're English, I know they're African. And all of a sudden, the man with an African accent who is prophesying to me starts to speak as an Indian or as an American. 
right away my system shuts down where did that spirit come from what spirit is that now prophesying because that's not you you are african that's not you you're jamaican you speak jamaican you've always spoken jamaican how come all of a sudden a spirit of an african is speaking through you how come red flag red flag people of god i got to teach the truth even if some people stop talk to me red flag do not allow and i know some of you have heard and you think it cute because you listen to joshua selman and you listen to this prophet and you listen to uh, bishop odiejo and you listen to these people and they are speaking as god has anointed them to speak they are speaking as god has anointed them to speak they're speaking in their language Have you ever heard Joshua Selman preaching and then all of a sudden he's saying, Blow me, old chap, have you got a minute? The Lord Jesus is saying to you that you should go forth and do what God has called you to do. For in the last days there shall be... You're never going to hear that. And if you do, if you do, be weary of him. Be weary of him. Begin to check. Begin to listen intently. Don't jump to a conclusion the first time, but begin to watch to see if there is consistency that is starting to develop. Where he's now starting to speak from a different spirit. Run. Once you start to hear him speaking from a different spirit, that's divination. Run. Run. Don't run in rebellion. Don't run and create excitement and all these kinds of things. Just take your time, hold up one finger like a Pentecostal and sneak out like you're going to the bathroom, but don't go back. That's my advice to you. If you are listening to a prophet prophesy, especially if you've known them and know that they're Jamaican and this is the way they speak, and then all of a sudden they begin to speak like an African, Take your time. Say, Lord, cover me. Cover me from any transfer of any demonic spirit. Cover me from any transfer of any false uh, 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 identity. Cover me from any transfer of any uh, divination spirit that may have snuck into the man of God or the woman of God. Cover me, Lord. And then when it is over, do not disrespect or dishonor. When the word is finished, you ask God to cleanse you and purify you from any unreal or, or, or fake thing that may have want to come upon you. And then you put up your one finger and gallop. Take away yourself because it is unnatural. It is unreal. God is authentic. He has made us individual and independent like the very fingerprint that is upon us. He wants all of us to be ourselves. That's how he called us. That's how he anoints us. That's how he uses us. And so for me to want to be somebody else is a deception. And a deceptive spirit is not of God. It is of Lucifer. And so regardless of my intention, regardless of what I am trying to accomplish, regardless of how I'm saying I admire Joshua Selman so much that I want to speak like him, all I'm doing is dishonoring, disrespecting the spirit of God that is in me and who God has called me to be. Because I'm saying to, to God, you failed me. You should have made me like Joshua Selman. And so I am going to correct that mistake that you made, God, by imitating Joshua Selman. The devil, the devil, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Should people see you as one who is effective in your anointing and call in the same way they see Apostle Joshua Selman as effective and anointed in his call? Of course. But you should not want people to see you like him. They should see you like you, but as efficient and effective as him. Am I talking to somebody this morning? You're not vexing me. Because some of you, it might be your pastor that has been watching some prophets on TV, on YouTube, and all of a sudden feel a need to begin to imitate them. 
that spirit is not a good spirit. God does not facilitate imitation. He made you fearfully and wonderfully. He made you a mighty, mighty woman of God or man of God. You don't need to pretend to be anybody else. Be you. Be the best you. No copycat thing around here. Be the best you. Guys, I had to learn that. There was a time and a season where my mannerism and everything that I did and how I went about things was a reflection of Pastor Al Miller, Reverend Dr. Merrick Al Miller. And between my wife who would ning and ning and ning and ning and ning and ning in my ears constantly. Because there was a time when my, my, my self-esteem was not built up because I thought everybody else was smarter than me, better looking than me, had more than me to offer, knew God more than me. And so I wanted to be like them because I thought what I wanted from God was in them but not in me. And praise God for my amazing wife. I'm telling you, I did not like her at the time when she was doing it. I must tell you, because if we're being honest, we must be honest. She frustrated and annoyed me. And my eyes were like this a lot of time in the spirit. Not for her to see, because you know, she would have raised me up. But my eyes were like this in the spirit. And I was saying, why this woman don't leave me alone? I'm trying to be like, and I used to talk about these people. Oh, this one is so good and so good. And she used to be in my ears saying, so are you. So are you. So are you. You're a mighty man of valor. You're a mighty man of God. Masha Weed, I thank God for you. There were times when you annoyed me, you frustrated me, but today I can say publicly, I thank God for you because you caused the real me to arise. And I may not be as good as some people, but by God's grace, I'm as good as I need to be and getting better. Guys, don't try to be anybody else. I beg you. Do not try to be anybody else because that's a demon. I don't care what anyone else tried to teach you. God has made you special, fearfully and wonderfully. You don't need to be anybody else. I don't care how good they are. Be you. Be the best you. When you go into prayer, Father, make me the anointed son that you can trust. Make me an anointed son in whom you are well pleased. Make me an anointed son that walk in the fullness of your goodness. May your anointing that was meant for me, that was written in the Lamb's book of life for me, may it manifest to your glory. May my life bring joy to you. May my life bring a standing ovation like Stephen. Stephen didn't want to be like Paul. Philip didn't want to be like Paul. Oh, come on. Paul didn't want to be like Peter. Oh, they all wanted to be themselves. If you want to be somebody else, I'm telling you, you need deliverance because that's a doppy. And you're behaving like a puppy. And I'm, I, I hear Pastor Masha saying, calm down, calm down. I'm quite calm. But your life, and how you are guided is very important to me. So I'm not excited and emotional and overthink there. I care about your life and who speaks into your life. I care about that. I care about who imparts things to you that is not of God. I care about that. And hear me carefully as I close for this morning. Because when we go into this resurrection month, as we go into this resurrection month, I say to you, people of God, you must be resurrected with wisdom and understanding. You must understand that someone can be a legitimate, authentic man or woman of God. But at a moment in time, they are, are manifesting a spirit that you cannot afford to take on. A spirit that is not of God. Peter was no less of a man of God when he said to Jesus, No, Lord, do not go. You can't go. We need you. We want to be selfish. We want to hold on to you. And Jesus at that moment realized 
that if he were to fall victim to the friendship, to the relationship, to the sonship of Peter to him, if he was to say, you know, Peter mean well, Peter mean well, let me, let me just leave it. Let me just forget it. Let me just let him speak and let that spirit that he spoke from manifest upon me. If Jesus Christ of Nazareth, come on, I hope you're getting this. If Jesus, our Lord and example, were to say, I don't want to hurt Peter's feelings. Let me just accept what him said because he does know better. I know his heart and I know he's a man of God. I know he's committed to following me. And if anybody tests me, he will pull his sword and fight for me. I know he's a good man. So let me just leave it be. Jesus didn't do that. Guys, Jesus didn't let demon speak through his bona fide brethren and cause a curse to come upon him, Jesus. He didn't. So why should you or I? Why should we hear a spirit that is not of God speaking through a man of God or a woman of God and accept it because we know that this is a man of God or a woman of God? We are in scripture. Does, is that supported? Show me in scripture where that is supported. Not with the girl, with the spirit of divination, who was prophesying and declaring good things, but from a bad spirit. Not with Peter, who was a good man, but said a bad thing. Jesus said, get thee behind me, Satan. You have not the things of God as your priority. Tell those people who are trying to talk like Africans when they are Jamaicans or Americans or whomever. Tell them, I, Rowan Easton Wade, say, with no pomp and pageantry, with no authority, with no apostleship and power, tell them that that spirit is wrong and they need to renounce it and stop it and be the mighty man of valor, the mighty woman of valor that God Almighty has invested in them. Stop trying to be someone else. It's a spirit of divination and it cannot change a nation. So without hesitation, stop that manifestation and be who God has called you to be. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. So those two things are two pet peeves for me, people of God. They are red flags. Amen. It doesn't mean the people are wicked that do it. It just means that Satan, who is cunning, who is wiser than most human beings, have snuck in and have sought to contaminate what God is doing in and through his people as best as he can. Because Satan is quite comfortable with a small victory. Because a small victory could lead to a very dangerous thing for us. Let no man that has on a different cloak, even for a day, embrace you and transfer to you that which is from a cloak that you know is a joke. Amen? Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy, righteous, and glorious name. Ah, hallelujah. And so we are prepared for this new month of April. I pray that God will bless you in this month financially, spiritually. He will elevate you, increase you, expand you, enlarge you. I declare that April is a month that everything that Satan killed in your life will be resurrected with power, resurrected with interest. I pray that April will be the month when you will pursue, overtake, and recover all in the realm of the spirit and in the natural, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every money that you have lost through investment, through seeds that you have sown that you have not yet seen the return on that investment, your harvest have not yet come in. I prophesy by the spirit of the living God, 
that the month of April will begin to see budding, will begin to see maturing, will begin to see blossom, will begin to see fruit, will begin to see ripen in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever time or season you are in, I declare that the month of April shall be a month of encouragement, a month of power, a month of anointing, a month of grace, a month of glory in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This month of April, we will stand resolute on the rock, hallelujah, by which our church, our uh, our church of our lives have been built. We shall not be shaken. We shall not be moved. We shall be resolute, setting our face like flint. We shall stand like like Samuel. Uh, and when there, there is compromise, we shall draw the sword of the Spirit and do to whatever false thing come, like Samuel did to King Agar. We shall cut in pieces anything that does not represent the righteousness, holiness, truth, and principles of God's word and God's character and nature. Let your sword never be put up when there is time for it to be unsheathed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that this month of April, your shield shall never come down, that the fiery darts of the enemy shall get access to you. Your shield will always be up to quench those darts. Your sword will not be put down by your bedside while you're going to war. You will never forget your sword in April. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the word of God shall come forth out of your belly like rivers of living water in the month of April. I declare that the belt of truth shall be yours, that you shall speak truth but in love, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And anything that easily besets you, the month of April shall see a decrease and a deleting of anything from hell that easily besets you. And so the spirit of pride, of fear, of greed, of lust and any other sinful thing that pops up in your life periodically, I cancel it and destroy it by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare this month of April, the true and living God, as he was resurrected for our for, for his glory and for our blessing, so shall we be resurrected in this month of April for the glory of the Lord and for the benefit of our life in the earth and in our life to come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May the resurrection power of God that will work in us and through us also benefit our families, our communities, and our nations. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. What a time in the spirit. I hope it wasn't too 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 harsh. Hallelujah. It wasn't meant to be all in love, man. I mean nobody at all in the world any harm. But I got to speak truth as the Lord lay on my heart. Amen. Sometimes I make my poor wife, my no, no, my poor wife, my wife not poor, my wealthy wife, hallelujah, um, cringe. At some of the things that I say but it's by the leading of the Holy Spirit God wants us to be transparent and honest in all our ways amen and we have to do it even when it doesn't feel good to those if you feel like today's message was powerful enough and you want other persons to hear and be guided and to learn please share when you finish when you come off please share with your family and friends so that they will not be deceived and will not be out of respect for the, the quote-unquote Peter spirit, accept what the spirit behind Peter is saying to them and contaminate their system. And then they have to go find a deliverance minister to deliver them from that thing which was transferred to them. Tell them, stand, cover themselves, and not accept any fake want to be someone else spirit that is coming upon the mighty men and women of God in this season we cancel it and we pray for them we pray lord that you will open their eyes to recognize that you have made them wise they are your prize and they must stop trying to be someone else because then all they'll do is make noise in jesus name amen hallelujah father we thank you for the opportunity to eat of your body and drink of your blood may you sanctify and consecrate these emblems O god almighty that as we eat of them hallelujah and drink of them that we will truly be blessed in our going out and coming in blessed with health strength prosperity and good success in jesus mighty name 
Amen. And so as the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, Eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Somebody on TikTok, um, hashtag, hashtag something, says, never apologize for what was ordained. Thank you for your encouragement. I appreciate you. Hallelujah. It's some mistake. I don't like to hurt people's feelings or step on toes. I will say what God has said, but I always feel like a cute um, <laughs> if, if, if I think persons might be offended. My wife doesn't like when I offend anybody at all. Hallelujah. So she's my conscience. And so I, I, I have developed that. And sometimes you'll hear me apologize, but it doesn't mean I regret what has been said because I, I try my best never to speak from my own soul or my own annoyance, but from the Spirit of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And so likewise, he took the cup, he blessed it and took a sup, and he said, drink, this is my blood. <coughs> Excuse me. The blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Drink ye all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Sister Melody says, sometimes you have to hurt us to save us. That I have found out for my own self, Sister Mel. That I have found out for my own self. I... I don't want anybody to pamper me. If you need to hurt me to save me, hurt me that you might save me. Because I will be hurt now, but I will be happy later. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Your sacrifice is noted in heaven and appreciated by the King of Kings. He is standing and applauding for your consistency and persistency to get after him and to hear him and to obey him in the name of Jesus Christ. Raise your hands for the blessing. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> um, minister said uh, thankful hallelujah minister Stephen yes I, 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 I saw that minister Stephen yeah yes yes uh, so many of us so many persons have noticed this accent change and, um, and, and, and we have not been doing anything about it but God is faithful amen hallelujah and so go forth family and have an amazing day God's way for our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day his way in Jesus name remember Jesus love you and we love the whole of honor to have a super califragilisticexpialidocious day God's way be blessed people of God angels have been dispatched to walk with you and to grant you divine favor wherever you go and in whatever you do in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak health and strength, prosperity and good success to you today. And may the plane that is taking you, the jet that is taking you into the fullness of the resurrection that God has in store for you, may it take off today and never land again. But you always stay in the place, the high place of resurrected power. In Jesus' name, Amen. Bless you guys. Have a great one. Remember to do something good for someone today. Go out of your way. Make that extra effort. Make it a concerted effort to do something good for someone. Amen. God bless you. Love you guys. On behalf of Pastor Marsha Wade, I'm Ruan Wade saying, peace out. Use your mouth. Not just to shout, but to move doubt. Amen. Choy, you know me can't help myself. <laughs> All right, I've gone on the shelf. <laughs> Bye.